Hello friends, welcome back to the channel again. Code with me. So friends, in this session of Python programming language, we'll be discussing about another interesting topic of Python, also a subdivision of object-oriented programming language that is polymorphism. So friends, I assume that you heard this word data polymorphism from Java. So what is exactly poly polymorphism? And I also assume that you, uh, you know exactly how polymorphism functionality works with Java. So compared to that of polymorphism in Java, the functionality of polymorphism in Python is same as that of Java with a mild variation of keywords. So friends, in this video, let us learn the polymorphism in detail of how exactly Python works, how exactly polymorphism works in Python. Okay, so friends, as a formalities, let's start with the definition. Polymorphism is nothing but the literal meaning of polymorphism is a condition of occurrence in different forms. So friends, polymorph uh, polymorphism is nothing but an object taking up multiple forms. Okay, it's nothing but an object taking multiple forms. See friends, let me give you a real life example. Assume there is a man. So here a man can be a husband. He can be a father, he can be a friend, he can be a rival. You can clearly observe here a single man is capable of taking multiple forms in the programming fashion, same goes with there. An object can take up multiple forms. And the most primary reason of using polymorphism is code reusability. That's exactly right. See friends, so it also refers to the use of a single type entity like method operator or an object to represent different types in different scenarios so friends if you didn't still uh, get the clarity regarding the polymorphism in python do one thing friends i'll be directly jumping to the coding part so you'll be having the clear cut clarity about what is polymorphism and how it works with python so friends i'll be taking this out so if you want to note down the theory part that i've written here it requests you to kindly please pause the video and please note down the points that are written here. Okay, so friends, for instance, I'll take taking this out and I'll directly check the recording part. So friends, I assume that you are clearly aware that Python does not have any syntax or main method to start with. So it's a form of flexible program. Unlike Java, which don't have any kind of syntax or main program to start with. So friends, I'll be starting with directly creating the classes. So friends, assume. I'll create a class called as okay, class cat. Okay, inside this class, I'll be declaring a method called as initiate. It can be also called as constructor to initialize the values to the variables. Okay, self is a default. So in this uh, in this method, I'll be making use of two parameters called name and as well as age. Okay. And we're making use of self dot name is equal to name and self dot age is equal to age. Okay, so same goes with I'll create another method inside class class cat class. What is that information? Okay, a default self parameter. So inside this what you'll do, I'll create a statement called as print. Okay. So friends, so inside this what I will do. Uh, I am a cat. I'll declare a statement called as I am a cat. Okay, I am a cat. My name is my name is okay. Self name okay and, and I am sorry I am self dot age no, sorry self dot age yes old Okay, I'm sorry. So, increase here, friends. 
so uh, you can clearly see here so created a class for uh, created a method called as info inside this i've created as i am a cat my name is the name which will be declared here and i am this many years old okay the same way i'll be creating an another method okay if you ask me what is that method the sound of a particular animal that you are trying to execute it's okay define make sound okay followed by the default parameter cell okay and inside the cell create a statement called as print what is the sound of the cat meow okay so this is a common so this is uh, so you can clearly see here friends i have created a class called as cat I have created a two methods info and make sound and another method or constructor created called initiate to initialize the values to it okay at the same way friends i'll be creating a, another as called as talk class which produce the same functionality and behavior as that of cat class okay i'll create a class instead of cat it'll take this out and make it as talk okay so here i'll take this cat and make it talk so now what i will do friends really see here and we'll take this out and meow meow and take this the exactly how awesome okay so you really see here i successfully created two class one is cat class and another one is dog class we have the variables same methods and same level of parameters okay now what to do friends i'll create the object for cat class cat cat okay and also i'll be creating object for dog class dog one dog okay so friends you can clearly see here i've created an object for cat class as cat one and dog one as object for dog class but you can, uh, since the program will not execute because i have entered here is zero parameters what i'll do i'll give the name of the cat as kitty okay and age of cat uh, let's give four years it's the same way i'll give the name of the dog as fluffy okay and as well as it's a dog is maybe yes okay so friends when i try to execute one of the method inside the cat class let us see what happens okay let's try to execute the info class inside the info method inside the cat class okay okay so when i execute the program let us see what happens I'm sorry, friends. It's a slight mistake. I'll get it to you. I'm sorry, friends. It's a slight mistake. So you can clearly see here. Uh, I have created two objects called as cat one and dog one. Okay, and it has kitty three years old, fluffy four years old. Now what we'll do, friends? I'll using the reference, using the object that created the cat class. I try to access one of the method inside the cat class. Let us see what happens. You can see here. I'm trying to access this method inside the cat class. Okay, let us see what happens. I try to execute the program. You can clearly see here. I am a cat. My name is Kitty, and I am three years old. So this is how the program is executed. Okay, let's try uh, cat one or make sound. Okay, now when I try to execute the program, let us see what happens here. Okay, so it says cat says meow and dog says bark. Right. Okay. So now what I will do, friends? I will copy the same thing and try to execute the dog as. Okay. Let's get this of dog. Dog one. So when I did execute the print, please here. I am a dog. My name is Fluffy, and I am five years old and bark. So friends, the thing here, what I'm trying to express is, so friends, there are two classes here, and I made use of four lines of executing. Assume there are 500 classes. What happens now? You cannot keep on executing the list way. What happens? The length of the code will keep on increasing. So now, what I will do, friends, for shortcutly, I'll be creating a, another class called as for animals. Okay. For animal because the building is same category in 
the scat one and the top one. Okay, so I'll be creating a class called as animal. That is, I'll be making use of both objects that is cat one and dog one. Okay, so for, it, for instance, I'll be taking this out. See, friends, when I try to know what I will do, right here, now what I will do, I'm going to try to execute animal dot info. Okay, when I make use of animal dot info, it's not present. When I try to execute the program, you can clearly see here. It's showing I'm a cat, my name is Kitty, and three years old. I'm a dog, my name is Fluffy, and I'm five years old. You can clearly see here, friends. I made use only one statement, but there is two statements that are executed. How it's exactly happened? See here, friends. Here, animal is a class which contains objects of cat class and dog class. But since here the info class is common to that of increase here since the info class is common to that of dog class and cat class so i can create an another class which is common methods so i can execute in the same way what happens that the uh, by making use of code reusability the size of the code decrease day by day so speaking about the forms you can clearly see here friends here animal took a form of a cat and animal took a form of a dog this is something but the object formations so what I will do same way I'll be looking as animal dot make sound. Now I need to take you to you to see what happens. You can clearly see here, friends. I'm a cat. My name is Kitty. I'm three years old and make a sound meow. And I'm a dog. My name is Fluffy. And five years old, and I do bark. So friends, in this video, you can clearly observe here. There's two classes: cat and a dog. And as there's another class called as animal, which is taking form as a cat once and which is taking a form as a dog once. You clearly see here this animal is taking as multiple form. It is taking as cat as it is, it is taking as dog. Here animal is acting as multiple forms. This is called as polymorphism. So friends, so I'm um, request to kindly please. Note down the codes that are written here, class cat and everything. I'm extremely sorry for the length of the length of the, this statement. But since uh, when I try to enter the program, the program will not execute as it's showing a separate statement. For instance, I'll be looking this out. So cat that is print, I'm a cat. My name is self-plot name and self-plot is professor. And the same goes here, same goes here. Okay, friends. The session of the polymorphism ends here. So friends, if you have any doubt regarding the polymorphism. In Python, you to kindly please pin down your doubts in the comment section. Definitely reply back. Okay, and thanks for watching this video. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching this video. Have a nice life.